So runners are dispatched for the first off and racing for the Alm Park Stud Juvenile Hurdle Contest. Racing towards the first, a steady pace set by four of a kind and ice and slice. They're being followed by Trojan Horse as they prepare to leave the ground for the first time. Major Gatsby jumped violently to the right there, seemed to impede Edinburgh Rock. Gil Manor was the back marker over it as they race on towards the second, still tightly grouped. Four of a kind, an ice and slice. They've had a little bit of a look at that flight of hurdles, which again, they all do manage to negotiate safely. So settling down, it is four of a kind under Paul O'Brien on the inside of Ice and Slice. In third place is Trojan Horse with the big white face. In fourth is Mr. Rumbalicious, and round the outside of that pair is Blue King Doro in the noseband. Sixth place belongs to State Legend as they make the corner and continue their progress back towards home. Promised you a miracle is towards the wide outside at this stage. Edinburgh Rock's white face with Major Gatsby and also Archie McDart as they make their way up the home straight. Amongst the back markers in Spiratrice's towards the back early on and still towards the back as well is Gill Manor as the leaders prepare to reach the next. Those leaders four of a kind and Ice and Slice. Very slow leap by Major Gatsby there whose hurdling has lacked enthusiasm as they reach flight number four. And despite some alarming jumping, they are still all still standing. So the order as they make their way up past us is four of a kind in the green jacket on the inside of Ice and Slice, who races in second. Mr. Rumbalicious on the inside races keenly of Blue King Doro in the hooped colors with the noseband. And between that pair uh, races Trojan Horse. Just behind these, we have on the inside State Legend of Tidal Storm. And then behind these is Promised You a Miracle, a couple of links to Edinburgh Rock. The back markers continue to include the likes of Major Gatsby as they turn away. Atlantic Breeze is also towards the rear of the field with Inspiratrice as the leaders make the turn that will carry them away from the stands. Pace just beginning to lift slightly, four of a kind by half a length from Ice and Slice. Blue King Doro, Major, Mr. Jumbalicious and Trojan Horse are the chasing wave of three. They're being followed by State Legend, who will rise in sixth place at flight number five. As the leaders reach it now, Ice and Slice was better than four of a kind. Major Gatsby another slow leap, and at the back, Atlantic Breeze is beginning to struggle. Four of a kind regains the initiative by a length from Ice and Slice. Blue King Doro, Mr. Rumbalicious, and Trojan Horse continue to dispute third. State Legend comes next, just ahead of Tidal Storm in the quartered colours has established a lead of round about two to three lengths. Over Mr. Rumbalicious, who moves into second, Ice and Slice is being passed by Blue Kling Doro. Uh, then behind these, we have Edinburgh Rock, who's trying to get on terms as well. Atlantic Breeze has been pulled up towards the back of the field. So they're beginning to get strung out now, and it's four of a kind who has the lead from Mr. Rumbalicious. Blue King Doro is under strong pressure, and Spiratrice has made good ground through these runners, as the leader is four of a kind as they make the bend. Mr. Rumbalicious in Spiratrice racing on the outside, and uh, Tidal Storm comes next as they continue their progress uh, down the back straight. Uh, Trojan Horse was the one that was pulled up midway down the back straight looking to go amiss. So out in the lead it is four of a kind who has the lead from in Spiratrice in second place who continues to make progress under Sean Bowen. Mr. Rumbalicious and towards the inside races Tidal Storm as they make their way down towards the second last. Four of a kind still out in front. In Spiratrice the grey now begins to deliver a challenge. They've moved on from Tidal Tidal Storm as they race down towards the last Inspiratrice has moved through to lead. Inspiratrice has the advantage from four of a kind as they make their way up the run in and Inspiratrice leading by about three lengths from four of a kind. They're finishing strung out. Tidal Storm is back in third place but Inspiratrice at a massive price here. Been a great weekend or a few days for connections. Another winner for Nicky Martin in the Bradley partnership for Sean Bowen. Inspiratrice has beaten four of a kind. Tidal Storm was third. In fourth place was Archie McDart ahead of Mr. Rumbalicious. Big, big price winner of the first. Sean, I bet when you woke up first thing this morning, you weren't necessarily looking down your book of rides and thinking Inspiratrice was going to be your first winner. No, not at all. Um, like, Nikki always liked her as in she had plenty of ability, but she was sort of still in a flat mode. Mm. First, some, first couple of times over hurdles, very keen, not switching off properly. Where, whereas today they went quick. She switched off lovely, and crept into it nicely. She goes on on soft ground, well, and um, she's a good jumper. So, yeah.
the hoods, that kind of ride, was that, was that helpful to her today? Definitely, yeah, no, she, she, she enjoys being ridden like that and she needs to be ridden like that to get her switched off. Um, not thinking that we'd, we'd go and win doing it, but that's probably the way she likes being ridden, yeah. Do you get the sense that that could be a platform for her now today? Yeah, look, I, I, I don't know, um, Nick, Nikki will tell you what's the plans next, but I think today is really, she, she learned how to race today, she yeah. switched off and she jumped well. So. Not quite Welsh National Day mud on your silks, but there is a bit. How's it playing out there? Yeah, look, we're on juveniles there, but I thought it nearly rode soft. Um, but you get more of a gauge when you ride the National Hunt horses later. You've got two or three still to come. I know you've got one for the Whaley Cohens. What, what are you looking forward to? Yeah, um, he, he's obviously a horse they bought from France and um, was disappointed in market races and had a break and comes back here, steps up in trips. So probably hoping for a better run today. Horses and um, Pinnacle Peak was in great form before his break, so hopefully he can continue in good form. Well, yeah. Well Thank done. you. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.